Hello everybody, Claude Van Kirsten's here today, and today with my friend Gasly. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. I don't know if he's ever posted anything or not. Um, he's doing the camera work for this video and the next subsequent video, which will be coming out tomorrow. But today we are doing part one of our review of the Tower of War Think, which if you didn't know, I bought that this year on eBay. So this first part is just going over the five minifigures, Treebeard, and the Great Eagle, so I hope you enjoy. Here is our first figure, Gandalf the Grey. He is partially exclusive to the set. He was also in the smaller $15 set that same year that was actually just one room of Orthanc, but of course he has his classic staff. He has the hair piece, and because he has the hair piece, they give him two faces. Um, this face back here is angry, and then the normal face is just normal, passive Gandalf. Um, of course they have the beard piece that attaches at the neck. There's the light gray cape we revealed back there. There's some printing back there, and underneath his beard there's a little bit of printing. This also kind of like the same sash that's going around him. But there's Gandalf, obviously worthy inclusion to the set because the uh, he was trapped up at the top of Orphan. Here is Saruman the White, and this may be my favorite Lego minifigure of all time. But first, we'll take a look at his staff. It's It consists of three pieces, um, the kind of lightsaber in black, the... Uh, uh, this is the, kind of the torch piece, I guess, and then here's a little rounded piece at the top that goes into the torch piece. Um, here he has his uh, beard and slash hair combo. He has two faces. This one's kind of maniacal, and this one is more normal. Um, if you don't know, this is also the same as Saruman's, Saruman's face. Uh, this is also the same as Count Dooku's face because they're both, or they were both played by Christopher Lee who is now unfortunately dead, but uh, he has this nice printing on his torso. If we take the hair off for one moment, we can flip up the cape back there and see there's a little bit of printing back there. Now the uh, face and torso and cape are the same as the little $15 set that Gandalf was also in, but what makes this figure exclusive is these legs. This robe has really nice printing on the front, and if you want uh, Saruman to actually sit in his throne, which is, we'll take a look at it in the next video inside the Tower of Orthanc, you can have the normal legs. That just came in the normal $15 set. But there is Saruman the White. Here is Grima Wormtongue. Now, he's kind of like a niche character somewhat. Like, if you told a casual fan of Lord of the Rings, you're like, oh yeah, Grammy Warren Tongue's in the set, they probably wouldn't know who he is. But he's kind of significant um, in a couple of ways. So, first of all, he was King Theoden's advisor, um, who actually worked for Saruman, but he actually was just poisoning King Theoden with his bad advice. It's kind of left up to, to interpretation in the books and movies, whether it's actual magic or the bad advice. Um, but then the other significant thing about him is, with this knife in Return of the King, he did kill Saruman, the white. But now on to the actual figure. He has Aragorn's hairpiece in black. He has this uh, kind of angry face, and on the back, he has kind of this somewhat worried expression. It's kind of a passive worried. Um, you will notice his skin tone is not normal. It's not the regular medium nougat. I don't know what they call this, but they use it for Emperor Palpatine. Um, as you can see on his torso, he has some nice, kind of shiny, goldish printing. If we turn his cape around, some fur, and a little bit more gold printing. But there is Grima Wormtongue. Here is just a random Urukai. Urukai are just a type of orc, kind of. So they come in a vast majority of the Lord of the Rings Lego sets. So if you don't know who they are, then you've probably never seen the Lego Lord of the Rings set before. But here is the Orc Sword. They also used this piece in Anakin's Pod Racer, which I mentioned in my review of that, except they used it in a... Uh, it was kind of like a metal orange, metallic orange. 
Um, he has the handprint helmet, which is rare. There's two variants of the helmet, which uh, one handprint, one none. Also, the shield, the same. Um, he has one face with war paint, and then another face once they come out of the mud where they're somewhat born. Um, he just has a normal chest plate covering his torso, which I actually want to show because their torsos are pretty nice. Um, some nice shiny printing on there. His legs have some nice printing. And back there is more printing. But a worthy inclusion of the set, considering that uh, Isengard is where the Urukai orcs are made. Here's the Mortar Orc. There's not much to say about him. He came in a few sets. Um, there's a little bit of shininess to his printing, some back printing. His face kind of creepy, and he has some hair on the back of his head. Honestly, there's not a lot to say about him. Here is Treebeard, who is an end, which are tree people. He's not their leader, but he's just the main one, mostly, that's featured in the books and movies. Um, Treebeard has, is obviously a tree person, so he's got lots of leaves and mushrooms and stuff like that growing from him. Um, his head, right here's leaves. His beard is actually the kind of vine pieces that they usually used for uh, Poison Ivy's accessory back in 2012. This set came out in 2013. Um, he's got a, just a lot of little green bling with uh, some dark green and brown, as well as some light green. But his main play feature is this little thing back here, which you can spin, and it makes this arm go up and down. So the Hulkbuster technically ripped Treebeard off. Um, he also has some nice articulation in the arms, or the hands, and the arms. Uh, he can grab an orc <laughs> and smash him down on the ground like that. But, really nice character. He has some printed eyes, and there is Treebeard. Here is the eagle, who only came in one other set, and that is the Battle of the Black Gate, which I hope we can review in 2020, because I really want to buy that set on eBay. It's the only like Lord of the Rings set that I'm missing, but the eagle consists, consists of three big pieces. Here's the first piece. He has some really nice uh, printing. Of course, this is his own special mold. And then the two wings just clip on here. He has a freaking huge wingspan, but you can have, you can react to scene where the eagles come and save Gandalf from the top of or think. And Gandalf can throw, fly away. So there's all of the somewhat seven figures. Um, still, I'm not going to let you guys see the entire Tower of Orthanc itself. You'll see that tomorrow in part two of this video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you see a video. Don't be craggled, and peace out.